in this year back again for another reaction we're gonna to react to the entire history between xx and tension and pmb rock all right video i'll be breaking down the entire history between xxx tentacion and pmb rock let's get into it so where does it all begin well early in 2015 2016 pmb rock was consulted by his management who were trying to sign x to their label now keep in mind at this time pmb rock was on a greater scale than x was at more people were listening damn back in 2016 x looked mad grown bro and mind you he, he was like 17 18 around that time bro like he looked at mad grown with the facial hair, tattoo on his neck, all that, bro. Man. To PMB Rock. Crazy world, but it was real. PMB Rock was still an amazing artist, and he kind of felt weird when he had to meet X. They wanted to sign X because of his song Look At Me. Now, why did PMB Rock feel weird? Well, he felt weird because he felt like X was a hustler. That X was someone who was a super tough guy and who was going to intimidate him. So PMB Rock going into this meeting with X was super reserved and super relaxed into the situation to know that this might go a type of way that I'm not ready for. So to make sure that X doesn't have the higher hand and X doesn't bring all this power into this conversation. So the conversation happens, PMB Rock meets X and he's shocked. Why is he shocked? Well, he's shocked because X is not the person that he initially thought he was. X turns out to be the super soft guy, a guy who's well-spoken and intellectual. And this stuns PMB Rock. He's like, hey, this guy portrays himself as such a violent menace force. But when I talk to him, he's totally different. He's open-minded. He thinks clearly. He thinks before he talks. He I mean, and they always say never judge a book by its cover, bro. And never believe what you see on the internet, you know? knows what he's talking about he has thoughts that are outside of this world you know that but but sometimes i mean you got sometimes i mean like that could be the case though like you that person could be the same on the internet and off the internet you know like like, like you feel me like y'all get what i'm saying like where it hit him that hey this guy's a real person here's pmb rock describing the exact situation that i just described to you i, I put it like this when i first went to meet him like I judged them like just like how everybody else. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I met him like first I heard the song, you know what I'm saying, look at me. I was fucking with all like this. <laughs> and that song was getting played like O D, like niggas was playing that song late twenty sixteen, um through early twenty seventeen. They was playing they was playing that song, bro. That was my first time ever hearing X, you feel me? Like who is this nigga but like damn like, right. <laughs> But I look when I look something I like something I look into it more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I look into it, I type him up on YouTube. And I just seem like he was like fighting a lot. Like he do a whole bunch of like he be fucking shit up. Like he fighting people like, he's trying to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> like damn, like he a little reckless, you hear me? Like so when I came into meeting him, like that's how I was acting. I was on my like, I'm ready to fight whoever too. Like I thought he was gonna be coming crazy, like mm -hmm. he was the lightest, like the politest person I ever met. Like, right, right. He was like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, so my energy was like on some amped up. He was like calm as hell. I'm like, damn, so let me switch my energy. Like, yeah, a little bit. Energy, <laughs> yeah, like, I ain't feeling my energy. Like, he was just a regular down to earth person. It was like, damn, I judge him. Let me, let me, let me take a couple steps back. Let me get to know this person. Like, you could tell, like, he was a, a regular kid. You know, he just, been through a lot. So you may be thinking, what happens up next? Well, we know that X did not sign to the same label as PMB Rock, but they would still remain close friends. Here we have a video of X talking about PNB Rock and saying that if you don't mess with PNB Rock, I'm gonna mess you up. Yeah. Oh, it's rolling, man. Oh, it's rolling. Listen, if you don't, if you from Philly and you don't fuck with PNB Rock, when I see you, I'm gonna slap you. And I ain't talking about no bitch slap. I'm talking. About and initially, just a relationship started between the two rappers, a relationship that we know was fruitful and one that had real substance to it. There have some clips and photos on April 3rd of X and PNB Rock hanging out. Now, I'd really like to thank this X user right here. Thank you for posting this information. You are highly informational and accurate in your research. So here, April 3rd, we have them hanging out. You can see PNB Rock is smoking with X in the background, up at the camera. It's kind of cool to see him just hanging out as friends and doing stuff that you do with friends. It's cool that these artists had similar minds and that they were able to interact with each other on such a scale. On April 27, 2017, we have another clip of them hanging out. X and PMB Rock are listening to I Don't Want to Do This Anymore in the Car Together. Unfortunately, I cannot play the audio because I will get copyrighted, but I will link the original Twitter post in the description below. Again, on April 22, 2017, here is X talking in the car where PMB Rock is with them. You can see that they're hanging out together, which is still really cool. Why is this cool? Well, this is before the XXL freshman. This is before both of them were on the XXL freshman list. A list 
that we look up to and we look at, hey, these artists are actually making an impact in society and people are listening to them. This is before we had all of the wave on X. Yes, people were listening to him, but this is before that initial boost that propelled him upwards with his XXL freshman freestyle, where people started looking at who this guy really was. On May 28, 2017, X and PMB Rock are driving around again. In a Lamborghini, there's a few videos here, as you can see, that I'll play for you. You can see that X is hanging out with PMB Rock, and I hope you learn something new within these videos. Sell me bumming. Sell me bumming, you little bitty little bitch. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you little whore. That nigga say you little whore. <laughs> nah, my son be a rock. You wildin'. Yeah. You see here that they're at a 7 Eleven gas station, meeting up with some fans, taking photos, and just having a good time all in all. And here you can see that X is arriving at LIB Miami, the PNB Rock, where he met upon multiple celebrities and different rappers. On May 31st, 2017, X was in a music video that was not his own. He was in the back of the music video for Issues by Meek Mill. As you can see here, we have X and PNB Rock in the background of the video, as well as the video on YouTube. You can see X is in the background of PNB Rock. So now they're getting themselves with other celebrities out there who are on a really higher scale than them. Here I have May 29, 2017. Again, X and PNB Rock are inside of a black Lamborghini, as you can see X vibing right here, as well as PNB Rock. Again, the audios are muted just for copyright reasons, as we want this to be seen by as many people as can to be seen by. I'm in the big boy lane, you little bitch. You little bitch, man. Bitch, shit. I don't call my call. I like my call. What is it? What is it? What, is it? what, is it? what, 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 what are we what are we driving in? What is it? Is it a skirt skirt? Is it a lamb? I'm I'm sorry. On June 13, 2017, the XXL Freshman 2017 cover was revealed to the public. And this class included both Philadelphia's PNB Rock and Florida's XXX Tentacion. So this is where both these artists have manifested to put in the work, hung out with each other, made their songs and their own collaborative efforts, and now they're being rewarded by actually being examined by the public and society. It's cool to see that they're actually both coming up together and the impact that they would have on each other's careers. Now, what kind of impact would they have? Well, we know that X will go into the studio and record 17 that song. An album that was different than anything that he previously did. Yes, his old SoundCloud music was very, very, very similar to the stuff on 17. But with respect to the emotion and the amount of effort he puts into it. And the melodic vibe. But 17 was the shift. That was the shift where you see that A, X is a little bit different. We know X will go through his phases and he turn into a guy full of evolution and full of evolutionary ways. And this is when it shifted, where X asked PMB Rock to come in the studio with him. And they slowly started to work on a song, which we've all heard. Now, what song were they recording? They were recording Changes. Now, Changes would originally drop on March 2nd, 2018. And X was singing in the song with the bridge sung by PMB Rock. Now, initially, there's speculation off if PMB Rock was actually in the song, but it has been confirmed that he was. You're out playing, it's kind of cool the collaborative efforts that they did put into each other. And the way that they're so visionary with their own thinking. I have a clip of PMB Rock talking about creating changes just to see the mind of X and the way that he really designed these songs. And then it comes to the music, you know what I'm saying? Like, we eventually, of course, going back and forth listening to music, like, and we got work, you feel me? Like, came, that conversation came, and we just, I was in LA one day, and we made changes. It was pretty much just, he went in there, he already had this melody in his head that he said he was thinking about all day. He was like, I want, let's try something to this melody I was thinking about. And then when he played this shit on the piano, I'm like, that's a vibe, I fuck with this shit, like, like, I'm trying to think, like, where you want to go with it, though? Like, I was thinking, like, topic-wise, like, where you want to go? We know this was not the only collaborative effort between PMB Rock and X. As Smash! Exclamation mark also had PMB Rock on. So similar to that interview before, PMB Rock also talked about Smash in that interview, and I'll play that clip right here. The first song we made was Smash. You know, I smash up. Yeah, it's mad. Why are you on that show? I'm like, that's some different shit, bro. This shit wavy, bro. Like, I didn't even know you can get in this bag. And we know, unfortunately, X would pass away on June 18, 2018. And that would be the end of X's life, but that wouldn't be the end of his music. Because there were other songs in the back that PNB Rock and X recorded that weren't released to us. PNB Rock, in this interview posthumously after the death of X, talks about how X is his dog. He says the accolades that X achieved were crazy and that he was there when X made the song bad. A version that was not released to us but is unreleased along with Nav on this track. But there's a version of bad that we haven't heard. And this is PMB Ross explaining that. That was my dog, you feel me? Like, that shit happened. It hit home super hard. We got super. We made music together that everybody's gonna listen to for forever. You know what I'm saying? One of our songs went platinum. I know the two songs that we got, you know what I'm saying? Like, one of the songs.
gonna tell, tell you all a little story about the shit before come, come out. You know what I'm saying? It's a song called Bad. Like, I was, I was, we, I was, we did the hook type shit. I pulled the beat up. He did the hook on Ronnie JB. We was tired of shit, so we ain't never finished it. And later down the line, I had did a version of shit, and I sent it to him. And he was one of them niggas that like kept it always one thousand. You feel me? Like he was like. Bro, no, I ain't really fucking with that verse. <laughs> I, feel like go, I feel like you go. I feel like you go. A lot of niggas don't do that. A lot of niggas don't keep it honey. I ain't gonna lie. Like I, I feel like I did like art on this. I feel like it was like art. I'm like, damn. Like it was like one of them. I just took it off. I ain't never fuck with it again. Type shit. The other one that we did. And in this Instagram live right here, PMB Rock is listening to that version of Bad. Unfortunately, I cannot play due to audio copyright reasons, but I will link it in the description below for you that are interested in seeing. Just go down to the PMB Rock Bad link and you can click that one and check it out. Also, after his death, PMB Rock would be asked about the death of X. And here's his reaction to when reporters asked him how his friend passed away. Hey, how do you feel about uh, X passing away? I don't even want to talk about it right now. Okay. Man, you can, you can tell like PMB Rock was was super upset, like is super like, you know, disheartened about his his passing away, bro. Which he should be, you know, that's his man too for me. But should we like sing like uh, math disease? Like I really miss my homies. Like in uh, yeah. the PNB Rock was tight too, man. Yeah, hey, yo, bro, go ahead, bro. Before you get fucked up, bro. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. Obviously, you can see that he doesn't want to answer these questions. He doesn't want to talk about the death of such a close friend to him. Someone that he views on such high scale. Because to him, it's just weird types. We just want to hear so much about how he feels. But you know deep inside when somebody passes away how you feel about that. It's not so ambiguous to you. Really trying to get PMB to slip up here. There's no other way. I understand we can make a news title of PMB Rock misses his friend X. But we know that he does miss his friend X. We know they had multiple songs together. And the way that they came up, as I showed earlier, in this video. They had so much going for them together and just for it to get ended so quickly, that's where it hurts. That's where it truly hurts. But he wouldn't actually describe what he feels in this interview right here. And it's still a little grim. So I'll play it, but it's just PMB Rock explaining how he feels about the death of X. You know, of course, I got my brother XXX on there. I feel like you lose him. I mean, it's crazy losing him. You know what I'm saying? It was just like unexpected, you know. I mean, anytime somebody dies, I expect it. Especially when it's of that nature. We know PMB Rock would stay and continue to pay homage towards X. Now, on May 3rd, 2019, PMB draw album Trap Star Turn Pop and on this album song Middle Child that contains X on now this is a collaborative between PMB Rock and X that detail both their childhoods and their come up as we know they did come up together obviously not as close as X and Speed, but they were still coming up together so this song details exactly that it's a dope song it was cool that he was able to actually include X on his own music as well PMB Rock was close with X's mom as well he visited X's grave right here so you can see that he's in this video with Cleo and they're both visiting. PMB Rock has revealed why the song Bad that I mentioned earlier was not on Trap Star Turn Pop Extensions. In an interview with Everyday Struggle, PMB said that he recorded his verse for Bad while X was still alive. X thought PMB would go harder on it and told him to make a new verse. Before PMB could send an X the new verse, X had passed. PMB still thinks that his version is better than his second version, but said he's gonna sit back for on a while. Hopefully we get to see it. So obviously there's two versions of Bad. The one that is out to the public and the one that contains Nab is on so he feels that he cannot put this out because the other version is the one that X created, and that's the creation of X. He shouldn't have his say, as obviously X has passed and he cannot put his own creative juices into it. Now, unfortunately, on September 12, 2022, PMB Rock was fatally shot in South Los Angeles, and all my condolences go towards his fans and his family. If you guys come from a PMB Rock community, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. I know this was a while ago, but it still hurts to this day. Someone who influenced you and somebody who has motivated you to go on with your own life getting shot definitely, definitely puts a hole in your own heart. heart. He, had he had so much potential. potential. Him and X together had so much potential. We don't, we don't give PMB Rock enough. And I, and I hope this video actually puts it into life. Like, how amazing of an artist PMB Rock was and how creative he was and how, was and how integrated he was into the life of X. Without PMB Rock, you might not have had these amazing songs with X, such as Changes and Smash. And these might not be your favorite songs either, but these songs are creative and experimental and amazing. So I highly recommend for you to keep checking 
Bono Mo, and he keeps rocking with his music. X had a lot of relationships in the music industry. I detailed a full video about his full relationship with the artist Kanye West. If you know Kanye, he has a Yeezy brand, and he also wanted to reach out to X, but he never did. Why didn't he? Well, I detail it fully in this video right here. Right here. This current, this current video, video is ending, so if you want to keep watching my videos in the yeah, app, check on this video right here, right here where I break down the whole history between X and Kanye. Really I really appreciate you, and if you really vibe with my videos, make sure, make sure to check out my Discord community. I have, I have the link in the description, in the description below. below. I also have contest. Okay, that's the vid. So yeah, bro, let me know what y'all think about um XXX Attention on MP and P-Rock. Now, like, people saying, like, you know, like, like, people, I know people saying, like, I like X X X was an influential influential thing in life, but also keep in mind people also saying like PNB or J was PNB not PNB Rock was also like like influential in their life as well because of their music and all that shit, bro. And and rest in peace to both of them. It's sad that they, they have to die in that manner and all that shit. And and um and also let me know what is your favorite like song of each like each artist like of uh, both of them p and b and x let me know what's your favorite song down, com comment down below okay make sure you guys like comment subscribe y'all know the vibes or just checking out you are